Hey friends, and today we have an unboxing on this Fretted Friday. Drum roll. And I'm thinking that this t-shirt may well give away what it is that we're about to unbox coming right up. Yeah, so my good friends at JHS sent me some guitars to show you. And I'm going to open them up today for you. Well, at least one of them we're going to open up today. And one of the things I can tell you is that this is a Joe Doe guitar. Now, what are Joe Doe guitars, you may ask? Well, first things first, let's get this box open and let's pull out whoa, the contents. Very well wrapped. I have to say, it was a, an incredibly heavy package when it arrived because I got two of these and they come with cases. So the package was a lot heavier than I was expecting. Now let's, it comes in this amazing little uh, sort of polyester, I suppose, protective cover for the case. Cause I think that these are actually really interesting guitars. They're designed by a guy called Ben Court, who I met while I was at NAMM. And if you read the website of the John Doe guitars, you will see, very nice case, um, you will see that he is a screenwriter who also works at the weekends as a guitar designer. And what I really love about these Joe Doe guitars is that they have a little story behind each one of them. And it's quite fun to have a little tale told. So I'm gonna open this one up. This case puts me in mind, very much in mind, of a Fender style case. So let's open her up and you can have the first look. I think that it may well be wrapped anyway, but let's see, it's not. Wow, look at that. Very, very nice. And it is the Joe Doe Lucky Betty guitar. And the story, allegedly, behind this one is that it's based on Betty Lafoy, who run an all-female daredevil troupe and used to motorcycle around the inside of the Wall of Death on her Indian Scout motorbike while playing the electric guitar. Let's pop that there just for a moment and just check that the case is empty other than that. I don't think there's any case candy, are just keys and silicon gel. There we go. But yeah, great little story. And that she retired before her luck ran out. So let's have a look, what do we get with this? I saw these at NAMM, as I say, and they were, they were great. And I just love the idea of the story behind them. There's the whammy arm. And let's pop that in. Very, again, very Fender-esque style, these guitars. And I think that that's the point. It is very cute looking. And I don't know if you can see that, but there's writing on the back of the neck that says, may all your jumps at, on two, uh, land on two wheels. All my love, Larry. There you go. So they're marked up. They're a bit of fun. They have got all of this detailing and lettering and wording on them and around the outside. And they just look like a lot of fun. So they're built by Vintage. My buddies at JHS sent this one for me to review. I'm not being paid for the review and I am not getting to keep the guitar. I just don't have the space here anymore to keep them. And it's come in perfect tune. How about that? Wow, a very, very, it's supposed to be red, but actually to me, it looks more of an orangey color. What do you guys think? And it says Lucky Betty and her daring devils. <laughs> Uh, auto thrill show uh, nine lives to lose and there's a little cat in there uh, sponsored by bone hospital insurance <laughs> and around the edge it says smith's wrecker service and then a the telephone number 
And at the bottom there, Rockies Asphalt, cool Juniper, and the telephone number there. And of course, the bit on the back of the neck. So they are a bit of fun. They come with just a single pickup, and I will put all of, in fact, they're probably already rolling along the bottom, the specs on this guitar. Uh, first impressions out of the box is it feels really quite nice. It's fairly heavy. I will put the weight up for you just up here so that you know how much this weighs along with the specs. And in the box with it comes a little state fair ticket, which is quite fun. It comes with a checking uh, ticket, docket, and that's got all of the details about this guitar on it and it comes with a certificate of authenticity which says Lucky Betty and is signed and it's by Vintage and again a big thanks to my friends at JHS and Vintage for sending this over so that we can have a look at it together. There's a warranty registration and some details about how to tension the vibrato arm. Well, it actually feels really nice. The neck is fairly thin. I love this aging yellow look on the back of the neck. And one thing that this is not is a relic guitar, which is great news because I'm not a big fan of relics, as you know. There we go. Let's try and get a little bit better picture of it. And we'll have a, a twist around and show you the whole guitar. It's got vintage Fender style tuners. Uh, on the headstock it says Lucky Betty, Joe Doe guitars and the vintage logo. It feels very much like a Fender. I have to say the neck feels very, very stratty. Although obviously this doesn't have the curved body contouring that the strats have. Three control knobs, just like Fender. There we go, let me lift that up again a little bit low down. Let's see if the other camera can pick it up better. There you go. And I think that it looks really, really nice. We will be checking this out on Tone Tuesday, so make sure to tune back in and have a listen to how this single pickup guitar sounds then. But one thing I can tell you straight away is it's nicely set up. I would suggest that the action at the 12th fret is around a millimeter and a half. It's a 22 fret, and let me see. Yes, this feels like some sort of composite bone style nut, but we will check out in the specs exactly what that is. And it's just a nice feeling instrument. The square off, I'm not sure about the lack of a belly cut on the back. It doesn't feel too uncomfortable, and I'm not sure about playing it when it's on the strap. Let's see. That balances really nicely, actually, very, very nicely. So I can tell straight away there's no headstock drop, there's no headstock lift. It's actually a really nicely balanced guitar. So yeah, I think once that gets on the, uh, on the strap, this could be quite a nice gigging guitar. Just noodling around on it for a bit and it seems like a really quite a fast neck. It's a little thinner than I generally prefer, but it does look really, really nice in terms of the finishing. I can find no flaws. Just trying to see where these are made. Didn't take me long to find it. There it is on the back of the box, JHS Leeds UK, but made in China as I suspected but isn't everything these days there is just a little mark that you probably won't be able to see just on the neck there looks like a bit of orange paint but I have to say the finishing as per usual with Chinese finishing it's a good relatively thick coat of polyurethane I think the look and aesthetic may be an acquired taste uh, but let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section down below. I love the idea of making up stories behind these and it's a lot of fun to say the least. And I think the guys over at JHS and at um, Vintage Guitars 
are trying to push the envelope and come up with things that are new. I think 599, including the case, puts this kind of in the mid range sort of price range. And I would say that as far as the vintage guitars I've tried and tested, this is definitely of the same sort of standard of quality, if not a little higher in build quality than the regular vintage guitars, which is pretty good. If you really like this, it's also available in white. And actually the story goes that Betty used to play the red one during the week and get the white one out for her Sunday best. <laughs> so there's the story, there's the guitar, and there is the unboxing. I'll be back on Tone Tuesday to play it. So again, please tune in then and we'll have a little listen. Unless of course you're a patron, in which case you'll probably get to hear it today. I would just like to thank you for watching and I will be back with the best content I can just as soon as I can. If you've enjoyed this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and a like. And if you haven't yet, it really can't hurt to subscribe and I will see you next time. In the meantime, as always, my friends, you take good care.